Hi guys, welcome to Talk To Me Tuesday for Tuesday, November 28th, 2017. This is Jennifer. I hope that if you were having Thanksgiving last week that you had an enjoyable week and that you had some time with family and friends, which is what I had. I had an incredibly full house, so I did not record on Tuesday and I did not post a free pattern Friday. My son was here, um, his roommate was here, we had another friend of his was staying with us, his girlfriend came to see us, some of his high school friends came over, we had my sister and her husband come over, and another friend of ours came over, and so my house is not huge and it was bursting and we had lots of people actually staying with us and we had people coming and going the whole week and it was wonderful and glorious and I had a great time. What I did not do was sew. I did manage to um, set up a little sewing space in my garage and I did finish the binding on um, the Linus quilt that I needed to turn in and I did get that turn in. It looked like this when it was done. I did get a whole lot of pre-cutting done and some other prep work done for Rainbow Cascade so I have got lots of blocks pre-cut and ready to just sew, sew, sew. I set up my cutting space on my kitchen counter because I had a guest staying in my sewing room. Anyway, so like no sewing but lots and lots of prep work and the reason I'm on this wall today is is because I am rearranging my sewing room a little bit to take advantage of the fact that um, I had to take a bunch of stuff out to have a guest in here. So I've moved my tables around, I'm rearranging my sewing machines a little bit. My sewing machine that I sew on sits here usually, but I'm swapping out a little bit and I've moved my embroidery machine and my serger on this wall and I've moved over here on this side. Um, norm my design wall's over here, that's where I normally stand. My surgery embroidery machine used to sit on a table right on the side of me, and what I've done is just swap those two tables. So I'm hoping that that will make my space a little more efficient, and we'll see, I don't know. I've done a lot of cleaning um, since yesterday just to try to get my room back together so that I can just get back into sewing, and hopefully that will be happening after I'm done with all of my work today. I do have my new design wall stuff ready to go up, which is why I'm not standing in front of my design wall today because there is no design wall right now. So I will get that up and it'll be brand new and clean and ready to put blocks on. Yesterday was nudge six for our sixth set of Rainbow Cascade, and uh, that is one of the things that I got set up and ready to go was my set six for Rainbow Cascade. I hope you guys are chugging along, and if you get a little behind in December, it's okay. It's okay. Everybody gets crazy in December. It gets You get busy in December. You can catch up in January, and that's not a big deal. I fully anticipate that I will be behind, and then as soon as the new year hits, I will probably just jump ahead because I will have more time to sew, which is what always happens. If you get a little behind in December, don't, like, don't sweat it. I want to thank you guys for your awesome response to Frosted Furs, which was released two weeks ago. I've had a lot of people picking it up, and I've had some people working on blocks. If you haven't seen Rainy's yet, which I haven't watched anybody video so I will catch up. If you haven't seen Rainey's in progress, it is amazing. She's doing all low tone fabric and it's just, it totally looks like a winter wonderland and I cannot wait to see hers done. It's going to be amazing. You can find Frosted Furs on uh, Etsy and you can find it in my Craftsy shop. We do have a swap going on right now in the Sew Hooked group. It's the first time I've done this on Facebook. Um, we're doing a little tree trimming swap. So the way it works is you make your tree trimming miniature wall hanging and as soon as you're done with it, you finish it completely, then you sign up for the swap. So last time I checked, I had two people completely finished and sign up. So I have at least two people who will be swapping and um, basically what's gonna happen is when the deadline hits, I will close the form and no one else will be able to sign up and then all the people that are are signed up, I will send them the address of another person from the list and it's going to be random. It's going to be like, we're not going to do partners. It's going to be more like a round robin so that everyone will get a totally different tree trimming miniature than they made. So if you feel like that's something you want to do, there's still a little bit of time left. Jump in, jump in, make sure you join the So Hooked Facebook group. That's where all of the information is. Speaking of Facebook, I have to share this amazing box that Susan sent me. She, our very own Susie Quilt, sent me this completely amazing box. She told me it was coming. She's like, I'm sending you some pre-cuts. Use it for whatever you want. So this, these are going to be prizes because she wasn't kidding when she said she was sending me pre-cuts. I get an entire box. I've actually taken one of these things out here and I'm not going to show it because I might be giving it to someone as a gift that I know has been wanting this thing that was in this hole so Susan knows what that was. These are all charm packs. There are two layer cakes in the bottom and I'm serious guys, we're talking a year's worth of prizes. So this is going to set me up for next year for the So Hooked 
Facebook group for prizes. There might be a couple Fandom and Stitches prizes in here. We'll see, but I'm thinking So Hooked Facebook group because it seems appropriate. So Susan, thank you so much for this amazing box. I, I had been trying to figure out what I was going to do specifically next year, and now I'm done. You, you just figured it all out for me. Fandom and Stitches will be announcing our 2018 events soon. The uh, January event will be announcing next week, and it's going to be totally new. It's something different. It's not a naughty topic we've covered covered before so I'm really looking forward to that and it's also going to be run by um, Angela Gross who has not uh, run an entire event before like she has been a participant in events before and she's designed lots of stuff for Phantom and Stitches but it is her first thing that she's done all by herself so I'm really I'm really excited to see how you guys respond to it and I can't wait to announce that next week so look for that next week and I'll also mention it on uh, Talk To Me Tuesday next week. With that in mind make sure you stop by tomorrow for another installment in, of Vanda and Christie's Fantastic Beasts Quilt Along 2. It is the second Fantastic Beasts Quilt Along, which is why it's called 2. It's coming along nicely and it's going to be wrapping up at the end of December. Last but not least, I want to thank all of my Patreon patrons. I've had quite a few people jump in since the last couple of patterns I've released. Also, if you are in the Patreon Pattern Club, the So Hooked Pattern Club, there will be a new pattern in December. I will be releasing it after um, the first of the month. And just a reminder for everyone who is interested in the So Hooked Pattern Club, it's for $10 patrons. That means it's a $10 a month fee. And then you get any pattern I publish that is a paid for pattern. That's a tongue twister. You get any pattern that I publish that's a paid for pattern, you will get it for free. It will come to you. It's already, basically, you've already paid for it. So I'm just going to send it to you as soon as it comes out. You actually get it as soon as I publish it. And um, sometimes there are no patterns and sometimes there are two or three. So it just really depends on my productivity for the month. But you will always get the new patterns first. Also, a quick answer to a question that I was asked. If you become a new patron your patronage doesn't start until the next month. So it won't start until there's a PayPal payment. So basically, as soon as you have a receipt saying that you have paid for your, your uh, patronage, that you have supported me on Patreon, as soon as that happens, then you get your free pattern. So like if you join in the middle of November, at the end of November when the payments go out, end of November, beginning of December, then anything that comes out in December, you will get for free. I can tell who's paid and who hasn't, so it's you are absolutely gonna get what you're supposed to get when you're supposed to get it, so you don't have to worry about that. I just wanted to clear that up. But that is it for me. Taking a week off has set me far, far behind. I still have to put, finish putting my sewing room back together. I have to do lots of stuff for Phantom and Stitches. I have to do lots of stuff for Sew Hooked, and obviously I need to edit this video. And I'm hoping to watch all of your videos today. If you have not mailed Vicky's Fat Quarter yet, please do that because she is our final Fat Quarter swapper for Talk To Me Tuesday for the year. And if you're a Talk To Me Tuesday video maker and want to be in our swap for for next year make sure you sign up for that it's going to sign ups are going to be closing i think next week or the week after i have to check it might be the week after but it's coming up pretty soon i'll put that in the description of the video you guys have a great week have a crafty week and i will see you next week bye mm -hmm.